Hey there, besties. We got to talk. We back on big tips. Hey, I sense things going on in Dalton and we going to get back to it. So first of all, shout out to Jedediah Brown, investigate and advocate who is out there doing a the damn thing here, there and everywhere. It seems as though that he has some receipts on what's the goings on between Big Tiff and Keith, which allegedly is not going very well. Now that's allegedly, allegedly, allegedly. Hold on, what is that? Okay, so give me a second. Let me increase the view. And uh, there it is. Let's put it on the screen. Put it on the screen. Please post the comments because I can't read. And this is an email that was sent out from the administrator, Keith Freeman, to the staff of the village of Dalton. And it reads, in an effort to promote transparency and accountability, that I am the administration, that I am the administration along with all departments, and the Board of Trustees is instituting an email authorization policy effective immediately. All operational tasks involving staff, members, and Mayor Tiffany Hinyard must now have written correspondence via email. This includes requests for service, access to documents and information, deployment of department resources and personal equipment, access to village facilities, and any other request. Should Mayor Hinyard insist on giving you giving you or any of your staff a verbal directive, please send me an email immediately. I will forward to the attorney and board of trustees to discuss how to provide a more comprehensive plan moving forward. Should you or your staff feel, feel be made, wait, wait, should you or your staff feel be made to feel in any way threatened, intimidated, marginalized, or forced? To execute or follow through with any directive given by Mayor Hinyar, contact me on my cell phone immediately. All operational tasks within the scope of you and your staff employment must be approved by your supervisor and or department head. All employee hire and termination is protected under the attached ordinance by the trust board of trustees. I encourage all department heads to advise your staff accordingly. If you or your staff have been the victim of intimidation of any kind and would like to file a confidential complaint, please contact Janice Johnson in our HR department. Your cooperation in this matter is greatly appreciated. Keith Freeman to all department heads under his administration. That is another exclusive receipt drop right here. Shout out to Jedediah because if that's not T, then I don't know what it is. So what we just heard was Keith Freeman has put out in writing to the staff, the heads of all those departments when they're up there having those daggone meetings. Now, I'm not really sure if this is for Thornton Township or if this is for Dalton, even though I think he basically, well, it has to be for Dalton, right? Because that's where he's the village administrator to say, if you feel that you are being pressured by anyone, but specifically Miss Tiffany Hinyard, and she's telling you something verbally, you need to tell me and put it in writing. Because it seems like now Keith wants to act like a real administrator. He said, we not going by nobody running off at the mouth no more. You need to prove it, basically. And if you feel like someone is intimidating you or making you feel some sort of way or threatening you, allegedly, 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 you come to me and I'm going to handle it or tell, tell you what it is that you need to do. Basically, he's saying, Big Tiff, you losing control. That's what's going on around here. Big Tiff is losing control, and you know what? It's about damn time. Now, for me, of course, that absolves no one else. However, it seems like maybe Big Keith is deciding that he wants to cooperate, which we have been saying kind of after this bankruptcy case thing came up when it was proven that he was allegedly lying. I'm going to still say allegedly. And then he was taken to court, and that was dismissed. Now, I never got to make a video about it, but he petitioned to have his bankruptcy case dismissed. Now, what's not going to happen, allegedly, I would think, I only play a lawyer on YouTube, is that if you file something with the government and then you're found to have been lying, typically you're not going to just be able to take it back. So, I would think that because they allowed him to pull it back, so he basically withdrew his bankruptcy petition, even though he was indicted on lying about it, 
that would seem to me that he's probably cooperating with the feds, which is a good thing because we are waiting, anticipating when the heck it is that Big Tiff is going to get her silver bracelets and we are waiting on pins and needles. Her time is coming. There was a Thornton Township meeting that did not go well, and we will definitely cover that. But for Keith to put this out in writing, mind you, so if Jedediah got it, which means that one of the people sent it to him because they're like, this was going on. One, that's a good thing that he sent it. Two, it's an even better thing that someone sent it to Jedediah. So they said, here you go. Here's the proof of what's going on. I'm pretty sure that it's anonymously, of course. And then three, that they all are getting tired of it, which means that they'll, he will probably be getting more information, more leaks, more people are going to be giving up tape, and we're going to be able to know what's going on. This stuff gets exposed. It's out here in the world. Big Tiff will find out. She's going to get rattled up as she has been shown to be looking a little bit rattled. And then she's going to make more and more mistakes. Not that there's any more mistakes that she can make that child, if we could find it out. Child, if we can find it out, then you know that the feds all have it. So this is hope that something is actually finally going on behind the scenes. Shout out to everybody who has been saying that the feds take their time. They do a thorough investigation. And when they come out, it's going to be a solid case. So Big Tiff has been wilding lately. And I haven't been reporting on it because I just feel like I can't do every little thing that that woman does. Okay. I haven't seen any parties lately, but I will definitely be making sure that we take a look at that. You know that the Trump thing has taken precedence over everything, but I need Big Tiff to know that we on that ass. And next month's uh, Dalton meeting, I'll be here and we will definitely cover it. We'll see if she even shows up, honestly, after all this. But child, props only to Keith for only finally realizing and recognizing that it's time for you to save your own ass. Cause that's what it sounds like. Honestly, it seems like he said, I'm not going to go down for you for all this. Now, of course, now we've seen him be a jackass in many a place. We've seen him be a jackass in many a place, but I guess he said, it's better to be a jackass out here than be a jackass behind bars. So let me go ahead and do what I got to do in order to save me, my wife, my kids, my livelihood and any and everything else, even though he still needs to be held accountable. Y'all know, I don't give no breaks. You did wrong. You need to pay the piper period point blank, but the big fish is big tiff. And if Big Tiff thinks that she going to get out of it just because she running off at the mouth saying the same crap every single daggone time that she comes out here to a daggone meeting, a daggone party, a daggone bingo game, or wherever the hell else she is, child, we ain't falling for that mess. And when you get those silver bracelets, we're going to be right there watching, waiting with bated breath, and we're going to be recording that as well. Because no one deserves it better than you. You had your opportunity to come clean. You had your opportunity to, opportunity to do right. And you thought you was above the law. Now everything seems to be cracking, y'all. Finally, 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 everything seems to be cracking. And I'm going to bring all that to you. So shout out to y'all if you made it this far. This is good news. We getting somewhere. Finally, finally, finally. Y'all, please make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Make sure you comment. I see you on the next one. Because y'all got false narratives out there, and y'all should be ashamed of y'all self. Y'all black. Y'all are black. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. You're going to jail. You're, You're going, going to jail, jail Gato. Unass that seat. Unass that seat. Unass that seat. To express my deepest gratitude to Tiffany Henyer and her team for their commendable efforts to better our community. Just come here. <laughs> Shut your stupid ass up. Oh. <laughs> say that, folks. Don't you, dumbass, say it. <laughs>